Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Cindy and today we're actually going to be talking about something that I have previously spoken before, which was um, Batigal and Palm P um, scam. And if you haven't seen that video, you probably might want to see that first before you watch this one because it kind of follows it through. So the people who have seen it, um, hello. Essentially what happened was, just a very quick recap, um, I bought a couple of items from both of these websites, battergirl.com and then palmpay.com. So I got out, uh, I got, because they've reached out to me on Instagram, reach out. So um, I being me fell for it and essentially just sharing my journey. Um, so, last time in the previous video where we left it off was Palmpy, um, I'd never received the items and they wouldn't give me a refund. Now the update for that one recently, um, because it has been three months, they've recently sent me an email asking me for a review. So clearly they, they don't really have a contact number or contact email, um, unless if they have one then please let me know. But I tried reaching out for them, I couldn't, I had to go to Instagram page and try and contact them from there, then I got no response whatsoever. So the interesting bit that I found was from Palm P was the fact that even though they asked for review, you would like to think that reviews are quite honest. However, as you will see, I did try and do it and I sent in my honest review and I've never received the item tried finding customer service and nothing, sent it through and I ended up getting um, thank you for submitting your review. Your review will be published as soon as it is approved by the shop admin. So this is the bit that I'm a little bit worried about is the fact that okay so you want me to put a review up for you but only if you approve it. So only if it's good enough for your website and that to me is if it doesn't screen scam I don't know what does but for a review it's you're supposed to accept the good the bad and everything but um, from this one I sent three reviews because they asked me to pick up three items and none of my reviews got posted and that also explains why all the reviews online are always so positive um, the customer loved it and it doesn't really help so that's one of the reasons why if you look at Palm Bay, you're never going to go and find any bad reviews in fact you're not going to find anything but five star reviews um and that's the reason the reason is because they approve it first they look at what you've written and if they like it and it fits their image then they're going to approve and if it doesn't fit their image then they're going to disapprove and no one knows about your story behind it and knowing that they've never reached out to me after seeing my review if they have um they've never reached out to me they've never um tried asking me exactly what happened none of it so the way i see it is that if you've received your item then lucky you you've really overpaid for your item and if you've never received it well tough luck um, you're not going to get a refund so that's the story for palm pay um, and that's pretty much as it ends there i'm not going to get the money back i'm not happy with the company i feel like it just you just don't do things like that but um i thought that would be quite interesting to just let you guys know exactly how it happens and why on the website it seems so positive and so um legit at least to me now the second one for Batagel is slightly a bit more um how would I put it complicated because um, when I did try and reach out for them for a refund they did get back to me eventually um, so if you don't know I'll give you the whole timeline kind of thing so um, this is 2020 March the 29th um, I told them I want a refund it doesn't fit and on the same day they got back to me and said that you need to send them an email on uh, support at Batagirl Dot, uh, uh, support at batica.com and um, someone will get back to you as soon as possible which is great however I've given and then oh, also she asked for my um, order number which I thought okay so I've given them my order number on the same day and I've told them that I've already sent two or three emails to that particular email and I got nothing back so um, she responded I think on the 4th of April so um, she didn't respond for four whole days and this company before you purchase and even somewhat after you purchase they respond quite consistently so um, anyway the 4th of April it got back to me so okay yeah you can return it and they make sure it's tracked it's traceable and ship it to Australia now in the previous one I didn't know it was from Australia um, I searched online and yeah it does say it is from Australia so that was from my bad however um, it was tracked the whole postage itself was £15 the actual item itself was 30 so on top of it, it was £45 in total so I told her fine I'll do that sent her the tracking number on the 16th of April and all I got um, on the same day I got okay honey and then Friday the uh, actually the 
literally i think it was just this friday okay so that's been sent and then it took about a week for it to send but once i got a notification well i actually had to search it online so the whole time about three weeks nothing i got nothing from them in fact no, no one tried to tell me that they've received the parcel no one told me anything about the parcel being received so i thought you know what i'm going to search online and see if it's um received so i searched online and yeah it's been delivered it was delivered on may the 6th so it's been delivered for about three weeks no one decided to tell me exactly you know what happened so um then this actually this was done last friday i just remembered yeah so literally a week ago i sent them the image that it was delivered and i said it was delivered you know back on the 6th of may when i'm going to receive my refund yeah so it was only then that she said that she was going to contact her support team to investigate and then she was going to tell me um saturday so that was on saturday well friday saturday and then the following Wednesday, I had to give them a nudge again. I said, hi there, was there an update on the refund? It's been over three weeks since you guys received the parcel. So then she said, sweetie, thank you for the message. Please be sure that your order has been fulfilled successfully. However, our customer team needs to give you more details um, on the status of your purchase. Please send an email to support at batgirl.com. They're fairly quick in responding. However, if you do not get a reply quickly, let me know and I can escalate that directly. So, okay, so she told me to send it to the email that she provided, which was, if you're not sure, it's exactly the same email that I tried to contact months, months ago. And so I tried to contact that email and they did reply. However, I sent them the screenshot of Royal Mail Delivered. I also gave them my tracking number and then they also wanted items and everything. So I sent it all to them and I got nothing back. So I personally think that I'm not going to get any of my uh, money back. In fact, and I'll be honest, if I wasn't so um, set on getting my refund back, I would not be getting my refund back at all. Um, pure of the fact that not only when you send it back to them trapped, um, you actually have to chase it up as well. And on top of chasing up, it goes through periods and periods of time. And at the end result, what do I, I get nothing. Um, I have gotten an email back from the support at Batagirl, I haven't got anything back from um, the Instagram part. So that's essentially the story on my bit. Now, digging into Batagirl as a company, I'm gonna be honest, I did miss out some parts of it. So on the Instagram thing they had, we have an ABN, Australian business number from AU government. Our work is completely legal. Um, you can see our ABN on the website, privacy policies, and check it out here. So I actually did decide to have a look. I expect that it is gonna be registered, purely the fact that, why would they do that to themselves? Um, so this is the thing, I'm not an expert. In fact, I don't know anything about business. So with the whole registration name, in my head is that if your company is Batical, then usually it would make sense in my head to register the company name as Batical. However, um, I don't know i'm not going to say this is false or true or anything but hello um sorry so there's one point that i actually forgot to mention um so when i looked up batter girls um a b n number it actually turned up as sondos uh pty dot limited which i don't know whether that means that batter girl is under that name or whether um it's supposed to be like that i'm not 100 percent sure however um, when I was looking into ABN in Australia, quite a lot of things that they were saying um, how people are using other companies ABN to try and get out of the whole paying tax thing. So I don't know whether that's relevant or not, but when I was looking into Sondos PTY limited, um, I couldn't get any information. So I don't know if anyone out there knows what exactly that means. If they do, if you can leave me a comment, so at least I can also know, that would be great. Thanks. So the thing is, is that from the message that they sent me from on Instagram, they seem to be using the ABN as a scam proof kind of way of getting your trust. And that's at least that's the way I saw it was that, oh, OK, so this person, this company has this. So that means they definitely have it. Um, another thing to note is ABN doesn't exactly mean they're a company. They can be private um, sole traders or they have a partner, but it doesn't really mean that they, they are a company. So from what I can see, they are not a company. 
they're essentially sole traders and they might have a handful of people working for them but this is the main issue that I have with Batica and Pompey is the fact that I understand drop shipping. Some people do buy a ton of stuff all the way from around the world and they, sh they bring it to whatever country. So it could be the US or it could be um, the UK. And then they will charge you an extra fee. So for example, if they bought it in for five pound, they might sell it out for 10 pound or 20 pound. Um, for the fast kind of shipping thing so instead of waiting for the customer side instead of waiting 30 days for the things to arrive you're paying extra 15 20 pounds i don't know to purchase it and make sure that it arrives within a week now that part i absolutely understand and i don't personally see it as a scam but the problem i have with these two companies is the fact that they've raised the price they haven't even bothered repackaging it and it is shipped straight from china where you could get the exact same thing the exact same quality and also the exact same time as well the waiting time as if you just bought it from aliexpress and if you don't know the, the price comparison i would strongly advise you to see my first video on um, instagram scams and um, there we did a comparison of how much they were charging and how much AliExpress was charging. But that's, just, that's essentially the part that I really don't like about these two companies was the fact that they overcharge with no benefits that I can see apart from the fact that it is from Batagirl or Palmpy, but there's no labels, there's no repackaging, there is nothing. It's exactly the same thing as, you, as though you were just bought it from um, AliExpress. And that, to me is just being so lazy with what they do and it's honestly I, I just don't think it's right so that's honestly the reason why i'm making this video and why i'm kind of so fixated in those two companies because i know that they're constantly reaching out to people even during this time during a pandemic still reaching out to people saying please buy this buy this but it's just the fact they're still reaching out to people um i want you to uh, represent their company try and share their stuff and it's just such a bad time and i just feel like with what they are doing it's not worth it please 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 just don't buy from them if you really like their stuff go to aliexpress because that's where all the stuff is coming from and you get for a fraction of the price you're still gonna wait that 30 days i'm telling you i waited three months for those things to arrive and for two of them from palm Pay, it hasn't i've got none of them from batico has arrived the sizing was so off i'm a uk size s um I ordered a size M and it didn't even fit. Honestly, personally, if you're gonna waste money or if there's something that you really, really like, go to AliExpress and find it there. You're gonna have so many different options as well. If you don't want the waiting time, my best bet is please just go to Amazon, get something that's within the prime, just make sure it's gonna come in a certain amount of days. But um, honestly, Batagirl and Pompey, they there's no benefit to the customers. There's absolutely no benefit. And I just don't see the point. I, I personally feel like it needs to end. And at the moment, I'm currently trying to find out the A, B, N thing, whether we, is there something that we could do about it. At this moment, Batigal hasn't sent me any refunds, sent me absolutely nothing. So uh, just to give you a really nice idea, it's been about three months wait waiting plus the whole month of sending the items out. So it's been a total of about four to five months now and I've got absolutely nothing. So if they do end up returning the money, I will definitely update you guys and probably just post it in one of the comments below so that at least anyone who's watching knows, okay, I did get my money back for this. However, if you are going to buy from Palmpy, I strongly recommend you to just don't do it because um, it is an absolute gamble. When they send it to you, it's not, sh it's not trapped and if you don't receive it you don't get your money back Batagal the same thing they send it to you it's not traced nothing is traced however when you want a return they suddenly want everything to be traced and then even then you're not even guaranteed a refund so i hope this helps um if it did please like and subscribe that would be amazing and i hope you're all doing well lots of love